Today in the show, I'm going to be answering the question, who are the Flash family? So the Flash family are the four speedsters who have held the mantle of the Flash and several people that are directly connected to them. Namely, the members of the Flash family are Jay Garrick, Barry Allen, Wally West, Bar Allen, Max Mercury, Jesse Quick, and Iris West. There are other speedsters and other heroes that work with the Flash family, but that doesn't make them a member of this group. It's just these people in particular are members of the Flash family. So let's just talk about where it all began. Jay Garrick, the original golden age of comics Flash. He first appeared in Flash Comics number one in 1940. And as a child, he was obsessed with this hero that had super speed that was called Whip Whirlwind. Later on, he would do a chemistry experiment on hard water, and this would go horribly wrong. He'd fall into a coma for a solid week, and when he wakes up, he discovers he has the power of super speed. He would quickly become a founding member of the Justice Society of America, and then he would disappear for some years and would be reintroduced in the story The Flash of Two Worlds. This comic introduced the idea of a multiverse into comics. It's a legendary comic, the cover is so iconic. People know about it even to this day. Which brings us on to our second Flash, Barry Allen. But before we talk about him, you need to learn about the history of comics as a whole, just a bit. So at the beginning of the 1940s, superheroes were the hit Thing. Everyone loved them. And by the end of the 1940s, everyone had kind of had enough of fighting. I mean, there was a world war. No one really cared. It was love comics and horror comics that were selling more than anything else. So superheroes just weren't about. Eventually, the Comics Code Authority came along and said, right, you can't write certain things anymore because you're going to turn all the children into Satan and no one wants our children to be Satan. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to do superheroes again. And that's exactly what happened. So a whole bunch of Golden Age characters got reimagined for the Silver Age of comics, including The Flash, which is why Barry Allen was made. Barry first appeared in Showcase number four in 1956. Barry was a bit of a dreamer growing up. He was always late for everything. And he was a huge fan of Jay Garrick, The Flash. By the time he graduated from college, both of his parents were dead. And it wasn't a natural death in either case, so this gave him a strong sense of justice. He'd actually go on to get a job in criminology in Central City in their police department. It's also around this time that he started dating news reporter Iris West. But what's even more important is that one day he was in his lab and there were all these chemicals in a cabinet next to him and a bolt of lightning would come in through the window, shatter the cabinet, and it would cover Barry in electronically charged chemicals. This gave him the ability to tap into the speed force and he became the Flash. Even though he was a hero, he would continue to date Iris. And one day, Iris would bring along her nephew, Wally West, which brings us on to our third Flash. One day, Wally was actually taken to go and stay with his aunt Iris, who lived in Central City. And Iris took him to go and meet Barry Allen, who was a friend of the Flash. And while he met Barry Allen, he actually got to meet the Flash. And when he asked the Flash how the Flash got his powers, he explained what happened. And in that moment, a bolt of lightning came in, shattered the chemical cabinet once again, coating Wally in electronically charged chemicals, the same chemicals that gave Barry his powers, thus turning Wally into Kid Flash. I'm going to be very, very honest here. Everyone knows about Wally West as Kid Flash from the Young Justice cartoon. But in actual fact, in the comics, you could pretty much summarize Wally West's career as Kid Flash into three points. He was a founding member of the Teen Titans. He was a founding member of the New Teen Titans. He would quit being a hero while he was in the New Teen Titans. And finally, he would watch Barry Allen give up his own life to save the planet. When Barry gave up his own life, Wally would decide that he was going to become the Flash, and this wasn't easy for anyone to adjust to, but eventually he was accepted as the new Flash by everyone. 
Eventually, a whole mess of things would happen and Wally would think Iris was dead when in actual fact she was from the future and when she came back from the future, she would have a kid with her. This kid called Bart Allen, who was aging very, very, very fast. And if he kept aging, he was going to die by the time he was four years old. So Wally had to stop this kid from aging. And this kid was another speedster and was from the future. I've actually done a history video on Bart Allen, so I'm gonna just skim over this part very, very quickly. But if you do want to learn more about Bart Allen, there is an annotation on the screen right now, and there'll be a link in the description down below. His aging was stopped, but his maturity level was very, very low. He wasn't very aware of his own mortality, and it'll be quite some time before he became aware that he could actually die. He'd go on to become a founding member of the team at Young Justice, and would later on be a member of the Teen Titans, and would finally become the Flash. And when he does become the Flash, he receives the blessing of all three other Flashes. It was like they were literally passing the mantle onto him. Every time I read that, my whole body just shivers and goes cold because it's so amazing to read. Again, if you want to learn more about Bart Allen, click the link down below to be taken to my history video on him. I'm going to briefly touch on the other members of the Flash family because they're honestly not quite as important and they honestly haven't done as many things. And while their origins are interesting, I'd rather give them their own videos to teach you guys about them in a bit more depth. Let's start with Max Mercury, who at one time was known as Whip Whirlwind. He was born in 1838. But basically, Max was a friend of Native Americans. He was actually a friend of the Blackfoot tribe. And eventually, these Americans wanted to kill off the Blackfoot tribe, so Max would dedicate years of his life protecting them. And eventually, he would be given the power of super speed by a Blackfoot shaman who passes away. One day, there would be a lightning storm, and Max is just drawn to it. And he begins to run towards it, and he can feel the speed force filling up his body. And this scares him. So he tries to stop, but he doesn't stop in time, and he's taken forward in time to New York of 1891. He would continue to try and merge with the Speed Force, and he failed every single time until he eventually ended up in the 1940s. He'd give up on being a hero for some time, but would later on become a mentor to Impulse. There is Jesse Quick, who is the daughter of Liberty Bell and Johnny Quick, who are both Golden Age heroes. What you need to know about Jesse Quick is if they needed a Flash family member to just crap all over, it would be Jesse Quick. She has had her powers removed, she's had her leg permanently damaged and healed once again, she has had her powers removed again, she's had her connection to the Speed Force temporarily cut off, she has just always crapped on, and I don't really know why, because she's never been able to develop beyond that. Also, considering nearly all of her appearances involved Wally West, she really did not like Wally West. Like, there was never a moment I can think of that the two of them really had a nice heartfelt moment. No, she just did not like him. Finally, there is Iris West. She is Wally West's daughter, and she has a twin brother called Jay, who is not a member of the Flash family at large. When the twins were born, they were powerless for all of three months, and they had the same issue Bart had. Their age was accelerated, meaning by the time Iris was only a few years old, she was actually an old woman, and at one point she even withered away into nothing. So it was up to Wally to save both of the twins. Turned out the issue was actually the death aspect of the Speed Force, so they had to be taken into the Speed Force and have all the blackness removed from them, and that made them back into children, and everything was fine after that. Iris is essentially the living embodiment of the Speed Force itself, making her potentially the most powerful speedster in DC's history. We've actually seen her able to create bubbles of Speed Force in which she can manipulate time and speed. Eventually, due to a series of events, she actually has to take her brother's connection of the Speed Force into herself to protect her brother, making him powerless and her even more powerful, although this came with a lot of pain. But after this, she becomes the new Impulse. I actually love Iris in this bit of artwork to do with the Flash family because everyone else is all serious and running and she's just there like skipping along at super speed. Which means if she actually tried running, imagine how fast she could go. And like I said before, these are not all the characters that have worked with the Flash before. These are just the Flash family members. No one else is part of the Flash family, even if they're directly related to the Flash. It's just these seven are the Flash family. 
And before we end today's video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. We're a little bit under halfway to our first goal, which is to get me a studio. And if I get that studio, I can make seven videos a week. So please check out my Patreon if you want to. Honestly, it would make a huge difference. But seriously, thank you to all of you that are already donating. It honestly helps the show be viable for me. Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of the Flash family and who is your favorite speedster? Please leave them in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon if you want to see bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my comedy channel if you want to laugh. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.